Princess Charlotte's emotional reaction to receiving her new crown from Princess Catherine was a moment of profound tenderness and significance, resonating deeply with audiences around the world. The exchange, filled with symbolism and emotion, offered a rare glimpse into the young royal's heartfelt side. Known for her grace and cheerful demeanor, Charlotte surprised many by shedding tears during the moving ceremony. This raw display of emotion revealed a depth of maturity and vulnerability that touched hearts far and wide, instantly captivating viewers. As the event unfolded live on television, social media erupted with reactions as fans expressed their admiration and empathy for the young princess, highlighting the unique pressure she faces as part of the royal family. This moment comes during what has been a particularly transformative and challenging year for the royal family. Princess Catherine's health diagnosis has cast a shadow over the household, emphasizing the human fragility behind their public duties. The news that Catherine, a vital figure within the family and the public, had been diagnosed with cancer earlier this year shocked the nation. Following abdominal surgery, it was revealed that she required chemotherapy to prevent the cancer's recurrence. Although the palace has maintained discretion regarding the specific type of cancer, Catherine herself shared an emotional message in March expressing her shock and determination to fight the illness. By June 2024, she reassured the public that she was undergoing her final months of treatment and growing stronger with each passing day. Her resilience in the face of adversity has been a source of inspiration for millions. This challenging period also calls to mind another significant loss for the royal family, the passing of Queen Elizabeth II in 2022. During the state funeral, Princess Charlotte, then just seven years old, exhibited remarkable composure and maturity beyond her years. She joined her brother, Prince George, and other members of the family at Westminster Abbey, where they were seated in prominent roles to symbolize the continuation of the monarchy through the next generation. Despite her young age, Charlotte honored her great-grandmother with heartfelt gestures, including wearing a black coat and a horseshoe brooch gifted by the late queen, reflecting her great affection for horses. One particularly poignant moment saw Charlotte subtly wiping away tears as the Queen's coffin passed by, an action that spoke volumes about her deep understanding of the gravity of the occasion. In another touching scene, she gently reminded her brother George to bow as the procession moved forward, honoring the lessons of duty and respect instilled in her from a young age. These moments, while heartbreaking, also highlighted the enduring legacy of the Queen through her great-grandchildren who carry forward the values and traditions she cherished. As the family continues to navigate these emotional trials, Princess Catherine's ongoing health challenges remain a central focus. Her chemotherapy treatments have taken a physical and emotional toll, but her public statements reflect a steadfast resolve. Catherine's brave appearance at Trooping the Color earlier this year, despite her ongoing battle, was a powerful testament to her resilience and dedication. She expressed gratitude for the support and privacy afforded to her during this time, emphasizing the strength of the royal family as they face their challenges together. Princess Charlotte's emotional display, paired with Princess Catherine's resilience, has struck a chord with the public, symbolizing both the weight and grace of royal life. These touching moments remind the world that behind the pomp and ceremony, the royals are a family navigating love, loss, and hope, just like any other. Yet under the constant gaze of millions, through it all, their enduring spirit continues to inspire and unite. Let's look at the princess's educational history in light of this. The amount that has been invested in her education will amaze you. Her schooling has been carefully chosen to guarantee that she is cognitively capable and has a well-rounded upbringing. This is due to the responsibilities that are put on them and the royal expectations that they must fulfill. At the age of two in early 2018, Princess Charlotte started schooling, attending the Wilcox Nursery School, a private nursery school located in a church hall close to her family's Kensington Palace residence. In contrast, her brother Prince George began attending Thomas's Battersea for his formal education at about the same age. Her parents selected the school because they thought it would be the ideal place for her to start her education, and the faculty and staff there were outstanding. According to reports, Wilcox's school has a system of fun and well-structured mornings with a bustling environment where kids may take their first steps toward learning to read, write, and understand basic math without feeling rushed. The school's website states as much. 
The entire amount of tuition at Wilcox is £9,150, or around $112,000, which varies from £350 to £4,073 per term. On her first day at the school, Charlotte wore a burgundy wool coat with razor pleats that cost £150. She accessorized it with a red bow that matched the coat's color, a stone-colored tight, and red shoes. After the summer ended, Charlotte finally enrolled with her older brother Prince George at London's Thomas's Battersea Preparatory School. Kensington Palace, where the family settled, is not far from this school. The institution's main goal is to develop individuals with an empathetic character, which is an essential quality that her parents want her and her siblings to have. Photographers captured Charlotte, who wasn't nearly as young as she was, looking adorable in her brand new navy blue uniform with her hair put back into a ponytail. Princess Charlotte reached a significant life milestone on September 5, 2019, when she started school again at the age of four. For the British royal family as well as Charlotte, this was a momentous day. Her parents, Prince William and Duchess Kate, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, along with her older brother Prince George, took her to her new school. The Cambridge family made an appearance together, and the public and photographers caught this moment. Unlike the typical portrayal of Princess Charlotte as confident, this first day revealed a completely different side of her. Charlotte, who is typically seen as having a bright, vivacious personality when she is in public, came across as extremely timid. She occasionally hid behind her mother, Duchess Kate, and grasped her hand closely. In this moment, a four-year-old girl's anxiety and excitement on her big day were captured in a picture, which many parents and other kids can readily identify with. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge displayed their customary warmth and compassion when they saw how bashful their daughter was on such a difficult day. They ensured Charlotte felt loved and safe. Finding Charlotte curled behind her mother and holding her hand can simply be an indication of the anxiety that comes with confronting the unknown, particularly on her first day of a new school where she will need to get used to her new surroundings and peers. Prince William revealed that his daughter is quite grounded when considering the experiences that lie ahead. Even though she was a little tearful today, Charlotte is thrilled to meet her friends once more and take part in educational activities at school, he reassured her. In the classroom, her peers referred to her as Charlotte Cambridge, highlighting the simplicity and intimacy between royal life and the typical educational setting. Prince William and Duchess Kate, the parents of Princess Charlotte, have been very careful to raise their kids in a way that gives them the most realistic childhood experience imaginable. Princess Charlotte attends Thomas's Battersea, a distinguished London school that offers a broad curriculum blending traditional and modern talents. This serves as a strong basis for Charlotte's overall development, fostering her personality as well as her intellectual prowess. In addition to teaching fundamental subjects, the school also offers courses in various fields, including dance, theater, music, French, and information technology. These encounters inspire her to exhibit generosity, creativity, and confidence. Through her involvement in Thomas's Battersea's academic and artistic programs, Charlotte has come to understand the value of striking a balance between responsibility and pleasure. While computer classes have helped Charlotte grasp contemporary technology, subjects like French have allowed her to interact with people from different cultures. Charlotte may also express her feelings, improve her teamwork and communication abilities, and gain experience performing in front of an audience through music and theater. She has also benefited from dance lessons in terms of her physical development and her ability to freely express herself. In addition to aiding Charlotte's personal growth, making sure she has a well-rounded education is crucial for her future. She and her brothers, George and Lewis, started attending Lambrook, a private preparatory school in Berkshire in 2022. The reason for this was that they had relocated to Windsor Home Park, Adelaide Cottage. It is still possible for the princess to accumulate a significant amount of wealth and power simultaneously, even if she does not obtain all of the degrees. Pay close attention to learn why. After Princess Charlotte's first public appearances, the world soon realized how much of a trailblazer she would be.